hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to compress the video to a smaller size and also how to change the video resolution let's suppose you see these video resolutions inside youtube as well such as uh, 1280 720 all this full hd 720 how to change video resolutions so we will be using the library called as uh, Fluent FFmpg, which is the wrapper library of uh, FFmpg library. So if you just search this library, which is Fluent FFmpg, you will get to know about this library. So it's a wrapper library to FFmpg library, which is a video and audio processing library. So it is a very popular library. It has got 193,000 weekly downloads. And we will be using this at the command line using Node.js. So it is using ffmpg library in the background so ffmpg as i already told you it's a video processing library so just first of all you need to be ha having installed this library so after you install it you can cross check just type ffmpg and uh, if the command works then you have successfully installed ffmpg so now the thing remains that guys you need to create a brand new project just install this using this command which is npmi fluent ffmpg so i have already installed it so let me show you what we will be doing in this tutorial so basically we will take a video file to compress it to a smaller size and this will create two versions of this video file such that youtube creates it whenever you upload a video to youtube it will create it in full hd and also it will create in 720 hd video let me run this file here so now to run this script it is very easy simply just uh, write node index.js followed by the input file name which is video.mp4 so now if you run this you will now see it will create two versions of this input file which is uh, 1280 into 720 which is uh, this one and uh, 1920 into 180 this is full hd and this is hd so now basically you will see that uh, if i show you uh, if i open this inside file explorer so you will see the size uh, difference original video was uh, 1 megabyte 863 kb and now this 1920 is a bit smaller you can see around about 1 megabyte and this 1280 into 720 it's 532 kilobytes so it's round about very small video you will just see here so it compresses the size of the video and also it creates uh, two versions of the video resolutions it also changes the resolution of the video as well you can take uh, a longer video example let's suppose this contains uh, 14 seconds of video which is 7 megabytes old let me copy this video and paste it right here inside it let me delete this so now if i execute this here same command and let me change the path to video to dot mp4 so now basically it will you will see the progress how it is compressing it frame by frame so it will take some time because this video is uh, larger so it is see finish processing so now basically you will see it is compressed this video from 7 uh, megabytes to 896 kilobytes and this 1280 into 720 is 454 kilobyte so it significantly compresses the size as well so this is a node.js script that you will definitely want so in the background it is using ffmpg library so i have given all the source code in the video description guys this is the blog post i have written which is this one so if you just go to the video description link right here inside it right here inside the description of this live stream you will find this link so simply go to this and here you will land on this blo uh, blog post so this is the script here i will write it step by step in this tutorial so just copy this so now let me write this script step by step guys so first of all you need to install this library which is uh, fluent ffmpg so just install this i have already installed it and after this guys what we need to do is that 
we need to make an anonymous function here which will run automatically whenever you run the node.js script so like this so now this is an anonymous function so basically whenever you put anything here it will run so now basically if i put here hello world and if i execute the script so you will see it will execute hello world message so basically you don't need to call this function it will call by itself so right here inside this we need to first of all import the ffmpg library which is we have installed it so we need to require it so after requiring this library we will be giving the output in the command line itself whenever we run the script node index.js then we will give the input file name so now to catch this file name we need to uh, catch it using the command line so we will make use of uh, process dot argv and we will use the slice and we will here we will pass two so it will put the second argument and then here we will use the for each loop and here we will have a simple function this will have these three parameters and here we will cache the file name which will be stored inside the val parameter so if i console log the val you will simply see if i execute uh, node index.js and pass the file name which is video.mp4 so now this file name will be printed out you will see so we are successfully getting the file name so after this what we need to do is that we need to get the extension so we will use the base name function and pass the file name so here we need to create this function which is uh, base name this is a custom function so this will have we will pass the file name as a string so now we need to extract the base of the file name which we can do this using string constructor we will pass this and then we will use the substring method and here we will get the last string last index so we will use the last index of this is a method we will use and then we will pass the slash symbol like this and uh, concatenate by one so this is a logic by which you can get the base name without the extension so then we will run a if condition that if base last index of and uh, dot is not equal to minus one this is a condition in that case we will use base dot substring zero dot base dot last index of dot so you just need to copy this code guys you don't need to understand much about this code so basically it is just returning the base name of the file name so it will now return the base name that's it so now if you console log it base name so this needs to be base name sorry so just do this so now if i so now basically guys you will see that it is getting the file name without having the extension so now it is returning only video not mp4 dot mp4 it is uh, split it out so that's exactly what we wanted now we will use the ffmpg library which is we have installed imported we will pass the file name which is stored and then we will use the output method to we will use the base name plus and then we will say dot 1280 this is the version 720 resolution dot mp4 and we, here we will use the video codec of uh, which is very common codec which is libx264 so there will be no audio so i will be having no audio function the size will be simply 1280 into 720 so
so these methods are very much available in fluent ffmpg library which makes it very much easy so now we will be generating the full hd version so for that we will once again use our dot output base name plus so here we will be having 1920 into 1080p dot mp4 so again we will use the same codec which is uh, lib x264 and uh, again we will use no audio this is not compulsory that you use no audio function basically it, uh, it uh, removes audio from the video and the size is simply 1920 by 1080 so now guys we will be attaching some callbacks so if any sort of error take place inside this conversions the errors will be there inside this so we can simply console log the error like this so on progress is also some event is there so if you want to show the progress you will use this method which is progress so inside this we it will show you the progress frames progress dot frames and lastly guys we will be having the on end so when the processing is finished there is this event which will be fired so here we can simply write a message that uh, finished processing So this is the script guys and uh, now basically you need to run the script also. So this is the very basic method which is run dot run that's it. This will actually run the ffmpg command that's it. So this is the overall script guys I have written step by step. So if I now execute it video dot. So now basically it will you will see the progress in the left hand side it will create two versions of it. you will see that so in this way guys you can compress the video and change the video resolution as well inside fluent ffmpg inside node.js i have given all the source code in the video description please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video